Here's a story <laughs> of a lovely lady. <laughs> Here's a story, get it? Yeah, Here's yeah, a story. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Hello. Welcome, everyone. To another exciting episode of Feel It Real Fun for All on the 20, yes, 20th of August, 2024. All right. Because it was our friend's birthday yesterday, so that's why I remember the date oh, yeah. without looking. Okay. And it's your... V. It's your manifesting question answered live. No, it's the That's Unlimited it. Power <laughs> Super Show. It's the Unlimited Power <laughs> Super Show, Kim. That's right. All right. So, uh, visit us at howtofeelitreal.com. If you haven't done that already, get on that mailing list, get the daily email, do the seven videos, and get things right and stop uh, doing what doesn't work. Howtofeelitreal.com. That's our gift to you. And the only thing we ask is a lung. Or kidney. What? <laughs> anyway. Okay. God, someone's not going to be happy about that, I'm sure. All right, okay. so today, guys, we've got yes. a very special show for you. Our crass commercial is for IdentityBasedManifesting.com, because I'm a little nuts <laughs> about that right now, and you should be too. Yeah, it, actually, we brought up a lot on the call yesterday, not for the general public, <laughs> but about identities and states. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it was I got a really cool post in the uh, Power of Imagination Facebook group right now. You'll have to give that a peek, see okay. how that's showing up. Lisa and LaRock, welcome Hello. to the show. So let's start out with today's Neville Goddard quote, and we'll dive into some cool shit. And uh, this is so good, I made a podcast about it that I haven't released yet as well. So, That's great. <laughs> so, so, yay. All right. Goodbye, Shall we dive in, Victoria? Okay, so Neville says, God speaks to you through the medium of your basic desires. Your basic desires are words of promise or prophecies. Oh, the contain, prophesy. I love the prophesy. Uh, that yeah. contain within themselves the plan and power of a expression and that's from freedom for all that's right and he that's says right. that else pla elsewhere places too right elsewhere, places, yes elsewhere. so here's the question the show so there's a post in the power of imagination facebook group yes. that i founded years ago when i got kicked out of one because they were making a big deal about bending spoons <laughs> and i thought this is really interesting right yes so instead of bending spoons why don't we like change our our circumstances but, new group. Yeah, oh, so sorry. new group. So I formed my own damn group. Yes. And changed the name a couple dozen times. Six, six, six. And now it's the Power of Imagination Facebook group. Right, Luke? Mm. Not because it really comes down to that. So let's, let's, so here's the question, right? The question goes on and on and involves a job and working conditions and performance and stuff. <clears> and it's really complicated to me. And so when I know these things are really complicated, it's normally because people are concerned about stuff, data, activities that they do and other people do and i just had to ask the question and the question was do you want this job right do you do you want this job now victoria used to work a job she worked a job a lot more recently than i have right <laughs> yes. and, and it, there came a point in time where if i would have said victoria Right? Do you want this job? Because originally I've been like, yeah, of course I need this job because uh, because of, of yes. But there was not like really. If it's do you want this job? Well, actually no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't. want what it seems to give you. Yes. Right. Yes. So, so, so this is where it gets a little bit fun and freaky, as far as I'm concerned. Right. Mm. So whenever you want something because of what it gives you, it's yeah. like right. Well, you think. That yeah, what, yeah what, you, what you think. That's the way it's got to get to you. Yeah. Right? So yeah. it's like radio. Yeah. So this morning I did a podcast in the portable, the disposable hot tub, and I had a great time all by myself, right, in the portable, the disposable hot tub. Wow. And I came over and I did a whole bunch of other things, and then we got ready for the show. And can you tell that I'm on fire? Just a tiny little bit. Were we on fire yesterday in the group call? Right? That was good. Right? Good. That was good. Yes. Now, here's the thing. Ready? Do you want this job? I really want to know. And and the reply was, I think so. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I think so. Yeah. So if I said to Victoria, hey, Victoria, how about if on Saturday we go out for lunch? Mm -hmm. right. Do I want to? <laughs> yeah, you, you want to go out for lunch? 
Hey, and if Maybe. that's their if that if that's their response, we ain't going. No. Right. On the other hand, if it's like, hey, Victoria, how about uh, Saturday we go to this place and get that? And, then, and if she answers like a hell yeah, <laughs> this is what I want you to have a hell yeah lifestyle. Maybe we'll call this hell yeah manifesting. Right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah right. We'll retitle this hell yeah manifesting. So it's right? no longer. Whatever the hell it was. Unlimited power super show. Yeah, it's no, it's the hell yeah, hell mani- yeah. Hell yeah manifesting. Okay. Right? <laughs> so this is what yeah, I. Because when your body, when you feel your body speak to you like hell yeah. When like, you feel your body speak to that's you. That's what it feels like. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Yeah. Now everybody, Elizabeth, you're here. Ready? Uh, what is the secret? Da, 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 da. <laughs> now, you know, what, yeah, the, the real secret is feeling is the secret. Yeah. And so here's what I notice. Yeah. Uh, what did Neville Goddard say about desires? They have their own what plan and power or something yeah, like that? Yeah, expression. Yeah, they have their own plan and power of expression, of fulfillment, right? Mm. Luke, you got it. Beth, you got it. Look at that. You're right next to each other, brother Aww. and sister, my kids, yeah. right? So this, <laughs> is so, kids. this is so cool, right? Yeah. So my, my son and his sister... <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, we just get to have so much fun, yeah. right? So, from what I can tell, a real desire unleashes fire, right? A real desire unleashes fire. Now, that's not like a Tony Robbins pep rally. That's a TikTok. It's yeah. not like a TikTok either, right? <laughs> so, before the show, I'm not going around the house going, rah, rah, re, kick him in the knee, rah, rah, ras, kick her in the other knee, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm already on fire. I'm nuts. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the show, right? Mm. When she prances around the house, prances. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'm on well, fire. Well, I'm still occasionally trying the chuckle dance. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> basically giving up. Yes. So, I ask a follow up question. And my follow-up question was, on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being no, uh, 10 being hell yeah, uh, how much do you want this job? Because Mm. anything under like a 7, 8, or 9 to me is just like, that's probably your head. Is that your calibration then, is it? Uh, Well, to to me, yeah, exactly. Because I want to know, like, is this a real desire? Because what does a real desire have, Victoria? What does a real desire have? Yeah. (laughs) Desire, I don't know. It has, it has its own plan and its power own power. of expression. Uh, right? So it's yes. got its own plan. It's got its own power. Right? Yes. Penny is right. It unleashes the fire. Right? Mm. On the other hand, uh, what I think might give me what I want and what I've been doing to try to get to what I would like to yeah, have. Yeah, it sounds like a two or a three. Yeah, yeah it, so- it sounds like a bad first date. Yeah. It's, right? It's like, yeah. like, hey, you want to get a coffee? Well, I was, uh, hold on. I need to go get a cigarette. <laughs> and <laughs> exit yes. stage right, okay. right? So this is where we get to play. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, anything less? I probably wouldn't say that, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really? I've got it there somewhere. Hell yeah. I wouldn't say hell yeah. <laughs> that's like you. <laughs> well, that's and, Victoria. And Kate. <laughs> what, would you, what would you say? I don't know. I just... I don't yeah. know. Do I think just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That See, sounds it's, ace. It's, it's, I don't know. By the way, it ain't awesome. the words. It's visceral. Yeah, it's the feeling inside. Right? It's, it's, yes. it's actually getting its <clears throat> visceral. And, and so when, when you can experience something that vibrates your bones, there we're talking. Mm. Right? Tabitha. Feliz. Tabitha. Yes. All right. Do I have any other notes there? No, I don't uh, think so. I think so. Do I don't you think want so. that job? Yeah, do you want that job? That was like, yeah, right? fundamental. By the way, so if you all remember, way back before I manifested uh, the silver bullet in 77 minutes. Yes. Right. So, you know, do I want a BMW? Do I want a Mercedes? Yeah. yeah kind of. I don't know. I'm looking on the line and on the line. It's like, oh, here's one I might like, but it's 40 minutes away. I don't do 40 minutes away. Right? <laughs> I, yes, I, I don't. Doesn't. I don't. And and then I had this really weird thing where I told Victoria, I says, you know what? I want a Mercedes. It has to be within five Ks of Eltham. And it has to be from a reputable dealer or somebody who I know, love, That's and trust. That's interesting, that, because you've conditioned it. And before... But it wasn't mental. No. But yes. It does feel conditioned. And I know we've always said not to... Uh, condition yes. your desire yes. but it feels in that 
that in will, that that you have. Not so, that. So, so to condition <coughs> the desire, this is a great question. Mm, to condition it, you. I think about all these things and figure out, you know what I want? I want to buy a car locally from somebody who is reputable or who I know, love, and trust. It's such a desire. It's not a, well, what would make me happy would be if somebody local uh, that I liked... Or could like, yeah, got yeah, you. it just it's gets like, way weird. Okay, got versus you. what's my actual desire? My actual desire is no love and trust. And seventy-seven minutes, I got the car. Oh, well, yeah, that yeah, that was like the day or two before. I, I just noticed what's my actual desire. My actual desire is is not to travel, not to go deal with dealers that are hinky, right? Hinky, hinky. <laughs> what what do I want? I want to buy a car from someone who I know, love, and trust, or somebody local that I can go bother. Right? If if it's not working right, I want to be able to go bother them. Right? Well, give it back. <laughs> uh, well, if it was a dealer and it didn't work right, yeah, and I got to no, drive got forty you. minutes. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's a bother. Right? I want to be able to bother them. Bother goes one way in my life. Don't want to be bothered. Right? Yes. So, so uh, this is really good. The whole thing with conditioning. Yeah. So, by the way, what's my desire? To do a show at about 10 o'clock so I can get to the pool. You get that's not a condition either. It's just sort of like, what's the desire? To do the show in that slot of time. Because it works for us and then it frees us up to do our other things. Mm -hmm. I'll go to the pool and she'll start prancing. Right. I'll get back in and there'll be all these shuffle dance videos on my YouTube thing. <laughs> no, I don't do it much anymore, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah, your father is Mr. Mercedes. <laughs> I, got oh, a, I got a story there. That's sure, anyway. <laughs> By the way, Stephen King. Yes. When, when I started really diving deep into writing, one of the things that Stephen King does is he will write a whole chapter based on setting a scene. Where most people go like, yeah, one day I was driving to the pool, it was raining outside, and a lady was crossing the street in front of Bunnings with a dog. And that's how they set their scene up. But don't... But Stephen King writes a whole chapter, and yeah. then one little thing happens. And how that is so related to, you feel a real scene. Yeah, you really surrender it's into like the It's like you don't give the whole chapter, the scene becomes that one snapshot. Yes. In the movie, yes, that just, smash, yeah, encompasses yeah. everything that he's written, yes, for a whole chapter. If you read the you first don't need chapter to say it all. of Mr. Mercedes, <laughs> yeah. you'll understand why that car was the car, right? Fascinating, yeah. but we seem to digress, yes. So, Stephen yes. King's on fire for writing the way he does, and he does. We're on fire for what we are, and that, which brings us down what's the absolute bit with this show. Are you on fire for your desire? If not, it's probably not a desire. <laughs> and it's and, and, really and the, I, I'm getting into the tick. <laughs> what is what is what was it called? Talk. No, yeah, but the, the rap. Are Sorry. you on fire for your desire? It like rap. Yeah. No, no. It's I think rap might be almost dead now. But anyway. Anyway. All right. Yes. Oh, it's Tony Doyle because he's into music. Is he? Yeah. All and right. he writes the songs. He writes the songs. Yeah, like Barry Manilow. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I know Barry Manilow All right. wrote that. So shall okay, we, Victoria? So what we want to know is tell us what was your. Oh. Hashtag strawberry beer. By the way, where did we get that And this, card? we were only talking about this yesterday. Yes. And I wanted to do a shout out again because Fran knows. It is a fantastic card. <laughs> it's a fantastic card. Yes. And we love it. And of course, that's why every single show we use it. So it's perfect. It's befitting. It is befitting. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yes, it is. Okay. And so, what was my hashtag strawberry beer? That's right. Uh, I actually like my little bit of realizing, sorry, <laughs> but just how <laughs> I, I'm my the own strawberry of like how That's Steven good. Spielberg wrote yeah, a King, whole Stephen King. Stephen King, sorry, wrote that whole ch a whole chapter just to set up the scene, yeah. and how a lot of people fall into the trap, feeling like, well, I can't forget this and I can't forget that, so I'll put that in as well, and they've got like this like one hour mantra <laughs> yes of what their wish is when just the desire is like that whole chapter becomes one 
like a five second scene yes. start. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's how quick it can be. It's yes. like the GIF you used to say. Totally, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so. Don't make a movie, make a GIF. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. What was your hashtag strawberry bit, babe? M- my hashtag strawberry bit was. Let's do a crass commercial. So we're doing a live call of USA Sunday. Uh, I'll be sending out an email about that. Some of y'all have already gotten links on the private side with that, like in a couple of different groups. But uh, this morning, uh, what is it called? That's all right. What's it called? (laughs) Anyway. It's like the Today Show changed. Yes. So uh, as I was waking up in the middle of the night, and I was noticing a desire. It was, it's about a mood, right? So, so, so the mood, the magic mood, or something like that, uh, is the Sunday call. And so, mm-hmm. when I started surrendering to that, I got more and more and more and more, and and uh, just it all came together. And 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 it's such a real timely example in my personal life mm-hmm. of, you know what? I wasn't sure if we were doing a live call this coming Sunday or not. And then, as I noticed, I, I've got a desire for this because I love teaching. I love the live calls. You all know this. And, and the more I surrender to it, the more on fire I get. And the more it all comes together with its own plan and power of fulfillment. And Sarah Rigotti did something really cool. But I'll be sharing about that, too, someplace else. And so. actually, I feel that yours is, in a way, very like mine. Yes. Because King set in that whole chapter... That's exactly what it's doing. It's setting the mood. Yes. You know I mean, the mood. Yeah, the mood gets it. set. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So I lo- that's lovely. Cool. Cool. Very All cool. right. So. Okay. Do be bop bop boo do. This is so real, guys. This is so real. By the way, December 25th, Christmas Day, All right, a desire showed up. Not an idea, not a, mm, it'd be good if I lost weight. None of that. Yeah, I, I kind of, yeah, yeah, no, right? A desire showed up. Look at Brucey coming up. Here he comes. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Are you on fire for your desire? Levi, listen to the Queen Levi. Listen to it from the top. And uh, yes. that's all. All right. That's all. That's it. And Hoo-ha. identitybasedmanifesting.com. That's the big crass commercial for today. It is. All right. Queen Levi, Levi, Queen Levi says, nice glasses and cool hat. This is the Reddington hat. It is the Raymond Reddington hat. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> I love my Reddington hat. I'm glad you do. All right. <laughs> no, it's an Akubra. It is. I it's do love lovely. I love I don't necessarily love Raymond Reddington. I can't well, well, you did until you. Him until what, after what he did to Cap- Kate. Yeah. Kaplan, Kaplan, yeah. whatever. Yeah, Mr. Kaplan. Oh, no. Tune out. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Okay. He could still tell a story. <laughs> Have a lovely day, gang. Yeah. See ya. See ya.